my name is Anna Nikola Adeshiu. You're watching the Introspective Dialogues. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So we've been talking about looking good. We've talked about looking good for yourself. We've talked about looking good for your spouse. And today we'll be talking about looking good on the job, whether you do a nine to five or you run your own business. Now, um, the way people see you is the way they will address you. When you look good, it helps to increase your perceived value. Now, I don't know what it is, but people who dress well, look good, they just look like they have it all under control. And you want that when you're on a job or, you know, running your own business. There are some organizations that actually promote people on how well they look. Because the truth is, there is a certain way you look that it just makes you seem like you know what you're doing. And it looks like you're ready for the job, you're ready for the task, you can hit the ground running. I don't know what it is, but it just happens. I had a friend who worked in this multinational auditing firm, and she said that their supervisors all wore heels. That, and when they started, they were wearing heels, you know, and they promoted them based on the fact that they could handle that kind of pressure, wearing heels all day long. It sounded funny, but it made quite some sense at the end of the day. So you want to look good because you, if, you know, any day comes up and they're looking for that person who might be able to handle this bigger project, you know, and it's an opportunity for a promotion. You want to be that person. You want to be the one that comes to mind because you look put together. You look like you can handle it already. The same thing if you're running your own business. When you look good, clients won't be afraid to give you their money because you look like you know what you're talking about. I mean... I would always joke that there are, you know, lessons to learn from the con artist. Have you ever seen a con artist looking shabby? I don't think so. They look so good. Sleek suits, you know, silver tongues, nice wristwatches, nice sunglasses, their shoes looking on point. And they make sure you see all these things so that you actually don't think they are hungry. You actually don't think they need your money. And then they talk big, you know, oh, there's this business opportunity because they look the parts. You easily part with your money and then you get scammed. Now, I'm not saying we should go out and scam people, but I'm just saying that looking good places you on a pedestal already. It helps people feel more comfortable. Why do people buy from celebrities instead of buying from their friends? Because celebrities have been able to create this image of themselves. You know, they look good. They look fancy. They look like they've got it all together. They look like they won't run away with your money. Sometimes you don't get the best of service or value from them. Sometimes your friends will give you better value, but because of this familiarity, you know, comfortable routines, you feel like, I don't, I'm not going to give her my money. She that one that isn't serious. Yeah, that one that doesn't take her, her shower till 12, or oh, she's always in her pajamas and stuff like that. And this person is doing good work, but, you know, just because of the perceived value, you refuse to do business with them. So when you look good, it helps to increase your perceived value. It helps you to look the part. It helps you look like you can actually handle whatever it is that these people are bringing to your clients, your, you know, um, your employers on the job. I'll tell you another story of um, one of my clients who actually, you know, did an event. She's an event planner. She did this beautiful event. The decoration was amazing. And... Another set of people, guests who came for this event were like, oh, they had an event coming up very soon. So they wanted to meet the person who did the decor so that she could do the decor for their event. And unfortunately, she wasn't looking so great. So they were like, how can this person be the one who did this? Now, it really doesn't make any sense because she did do the job. But just because she wasn't looking the parts, they were skeptical even after seeing what she could do. So when you look good on the job, you're actually building your portfolio. You're helping to place yourself on a pedestal, like I said. You're helping to create trust in a way. And people feel more comfortable parting with their money. So as you go through this week, bear that in mind. Look good, not just for yourself, not just for your spouse, but also for your business. When you look good, you attract your target audience. They come to you because you look like the kind of person you want to do business with. Bear all these in mind and hopefully watch your business flourish. Till I come your way again, be good to yourself and keep winning.